Hello there, and thanks for joining me for this devotional series that I'm doing, going through the book of Romans. I'm going to be in chapter 6 of Romans today. There's a playlist down there uh, in the description, a link. If you stumbled on this video and want to find the other devotions I'm doing on Romans, you're welcome to click on that playlist. They're all free and provided here for you on YouTube, so thanks for watching. The devotional for today is titled, God's Justice, okay? God's justice based on Romans chapter 6 verses 22 to 23. So I'm, let me read this to you and then I'll let you reflect on it. It feels American to get what we deserve. This is the concept of justice and it is something that we want enforced. God wants it enforced too, except his idea of justice is different than ours. There is justice given to those who don't know him but also a free gift given to those who do know him. The Apostle Paul explains this justice in Romans chapter 6, verses 20 through to 23, where he says, But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's take a look at three important parts of this passage that I want to make sure we don't miss. Number one, first, Paul wrote, you have been set free from sin. This is a one-time act. Jesus freed us from sin when he died on the cross for us, which is good because those sins meant we would die. The truth of the gospel is what sets us free and saves us. John 8, 32 says, then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And in another place, Romans 8, 2, through Christ Jesus, the law of spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. A second thing that Paul wrote to his readers here, I want to make sure you don't miss, is that um, Paul, Paul said to his readers, said his readers have become slaves of God. While well, being set free from sin is a past one-time act, this phrase tells us that we have a present condition as slaves of God. According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, a slave is, quote, one that is completely subservient to a dominating influence, unquote. And the concise Oxford English Dictionary defines slave as a person who is legal property of another and is forced to obey them, okay? Unquote. Slaves of God means that we get the gift of eternal life and live freely. 1 Peter 2.16 says, Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as God's slaves. A third thing we want to make sure we see from this passage, Paul shared that the result is eternal life. The result is eternal life. We get eternal life because we have accepted Christ's death for us and we have been set free from sin. Unbelievers will be separated from God forever in hell, says Luke chapter 16, verses 24 and 25, as well as Romans 5, 12 and Romans 7, 13. But Christians receive eternal life. 1 Peter 1, 9 says, For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. That salvation will be eternal life with God in heaven, based on John 3.16 and John 3.36. This is a gift that cannot be earned. See Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, and Titus 3, 5. We believe in the concept of justice that people get what they deserve. But God has a different view of justice. He has freed us from slavery to sin, in which we deserve death, and we are now slaves to God. And because of that, we will get to spend eternity in heaven with him. That is God's justice. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you again for another devotional. Hope that gives you something to uh, think about and reflect on as you go about your day. Thanks for watching.